Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate today is how to do a ex batch extraction of uh, MARC records um, using the Extract Selected MARC Records tool. Um, the idea is that you have a file that maybe has a list of um, control numbers and you want to be able to select those specific control numbers out of a much larger set of data and extract that set of data. Alright, so in MARC Edit there's a tool, it's called uh, Select MARC Records and then Extract Selected MARC Records. Let's see if I can get this right. Um, select, extract selected mark records. Uh, we're going to select the file that we're going to work with. In this case, I have one here. Um, I'm going to change the display field because the field that I'm going to be searching on is the control field. And I'm going to go ahead and import that file into uh, Mark Edit. So it goes ahead and it breaks the records. They were originally in Mark. And it goes ahead and processes the records into the uh, tool. So we can see now all the control numbers are here. So to, in order to extract records from a batch file, um, we need to give it the path to the file, and a special mnemonic. So the path to this file is right here. I'm make a copy of that. Um, the do not mnemonic is file, and then path, and then the file name. In the file name. Um, just as a side note, uh, while it doesn't affect every uh, operating system, generally newer ones, this isn't an issue, but if, for example, your path has spaces in it, uh, sometimes that can be problematic, um, especially on older systems like Windows XP, which uh, tends to um, need to have those, uh, those paths escaped. Alright, so anyways, we have our um, file here. Uh, it's been set, so we go ahead and hit the search button. And it's going to take a minute because this is one of those processes that uh, takes Mark out a little bit of time to run. And unfortunately, since we're doing a screen capture at the same time, um, it's going to take it a minute to uh, process. Let me explain what's going on. Um, what's happening is Mark Edit will find the file that's been uh, pointed to, that you've pointed to. Um, if it can read the file, it'll go ahead and open it up. It uh, reads all of the uh, records into a large array and then it takes those individual elements that show up in the file and it compares it a bit against what's in the display field. So, for example, if we wanted to search um, outside of a display field, uh, like if we weren't going to search the 001 but we wanted to search for titles, we would change the display field to a 245 and um, search those specific titles. If we wanted to search a different field like subjects, same thing. We would change the display field to whatever that field is for the subjects, and we would process uh, the file against those, pro those subjects. So it's been finished. It's found 574 records um, from our selection. So the records have been selected, but they haven't been exported. So if we skim the, th the thing here, we can see that there are some check marks. So those check marks show that those records have been selected. Um, if we wanted to run another search, we could check this retain checked items element and then do another one, do another batch search if that's what we want to do or search for individual record items. We're not going to. We've just went ahead and selected um, those records. Now we're going to export them. So we have to go over here and we have to actually tell MarkEdit to export the file. Um, and so we tell it to export selected records. We get the option to delete the extracted records from the source file. In this case, I'm not going to, so I'm going to tell it no. And then I just have to tell it where I want to save the file. So I'm going to call it selected. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And Mark Edit now goes through and it processes all the records. And the ones that have been selected, checked, it goes ahead and exports those records. And so we see at the end that uh, we have now our selected set of Mark records and there's data in it because there's it's almost a megabyte of data. So that's how we um, extract um, a, select, a selection of records in batch using a file, a batch file, to um, select records. Now this works for both the extract selected mark records tool as well as the delete selected mark records tool.